Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. So I wanna to touch base on a couple things that I did in this video here real quick since I didn't do a demonstration or a voiceover demonstration. So I'm using, so this is a piece of wrought iron that's been wrapped around and welded to a high carbon steel bit to make this little ax here. And when doing so, um, while drifting, we developed a split happening going up this way. It's kind of a common thing to happen with wrought iron uh, is for things to kind of crack and split because it has a very fibrous grain structure, so very large grain structure to it. And uh, so one of the a common historical fix that you'll see in a piece like this or even other type of work is a forge braze method. So taking a bit of copper, taking a bit of brass and melting it into the steel itself in order to make a uh, make a joint, so to speak, to prevent things from cracking further or for that crack to propagate on through the piece. Later on, it would be blackened like you see it is here to where you won't even notice the copper or the brass that is in this. Now, copper hides a little bit better than brass, but you do have to bring the temperature up a lot higher for uh, copper and bronze. You have to bring the temperature up a lot hot, hotter in order for it to melt into the joint. We also used flux. We used the flux for capillary action and to clean out the joint material because there wasn't any way for me to get down in here and file all this material out and away and make a really nice big clean slot there. I just needed to fix the crack. So that crack probably had some dirt in it and some junk. So we used the flux to help bring out that scale and the, the little bit of dirt and junk that would have been inside of there and pull the brass or pull the copper, if you will, down through the joint with capillary action. If you notice when I was grinding on this piece, there was even copper all the way around here and it really soaks and wets into the material. And that's what you want uh, to, to know that it's really made a good um, cohesive joint on you there. So you'll also notice that I didn't really do a whole lot with this in the video up here where the high, the end of the high carbon steel bit is. It's not needed. It's not needed. It's joined, it's fully welded throughout. It's just a remnants of, uh, you know, where that, where that toe of that scarf would have been uh, on this piece. Now we actually forged this in a Friday night live stream. So, uh, you know, in, while I was working on it and baking it, this little camp hatchet, if you will, I said, well, with all the problems and issues that it kind of had, this would be something I'd chuck to the side and I wouldn't actually sell to anybody, uh, you know, but fixing it like this and repairing it like this, this will put it into service for my own uses, uh, you know, use case scenarios. Now, something else I did not go into in the video, uh, it, you know, I didn't show at all in the video is after I've done the brazing and the things like that in there, the fire brazing onto this piece to fix those cracks right up. I then took the time to go ahead and heat treat it then. You obviously want to heat treat after, you know, go in for the quench and temper it and all that other stuff after you fix the cracks. Um, it doesn't do you any good to go ahead and heat treat first because you're just gonna wreck your temper on, on your actual piece. So I didn't show that, that wasn't part of this video. I just wanted to show how you could take a bit of copper wire and that wire is nothing special. That is copper wire from household electrical wire. You can get that at any Home Depot big box store. Um, heck, you have it in the walls of your house. So <laughs> maybe you're doing a remodel, save that copper wire, strip that wire off and uh, save it for projects like this. So other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple. Just a little bit of flux, uh, some 20 mule team borax would do good uh, or some anhydrous uh, flux would do great. Sprinkle a little bit in there enough that it wets out, bring it up to heat and tell the coppers, touch it until the copper melts and then it'll start flowing into the joint and you basically have it as lickety split and easy as that. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all the channel members who make this content possible. Really couldn't do it without, without you all. Um, God bless each and every last one of you. And if you wanna see real neat things like this getting forged uh, in live and full out tutorial fashion, uh, click that subscribe button and possibly join us for one of our weekly live streams. So that's it for today. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.